Hello everyone, Titan is here and we are back with more WWE 2K19 coverage. In this episode we are going over Crate and Arena, Breakdown, and New Features overall. So thank you to Defrect for uploading this, we are going to be taking a quick look at this. It's a short video, there's some thoughts and opinions on it. So he's just overall, he's going to show off the new stuff. We have the Arena, Video, Victory, we have the new money in the bank for customizations, custom matches, Think back to Arena, Show, Championship, Entrance, Moveset, and Superstar. So like it's the same stuff, just basically adding in the... Um, money in the bank so yeah, going over here so we have the templates um i believe in wwe 2k18 we had eight and in 2k19 we're gonna have 10 i could be wrong we could have we might have the same exact ones i think they added in velocity and then one other but overall nothing too like we don't have like the bingo hall and all that stuff in here like um not the bingo hall but i think the the japan the, Jap the japan dome or that they added in this year and a few other ones that like the the Mexico venue like we don't have either of those that we can do which is really a bummer because I think a lot of people were hoping to have those in Korea and Arena to be able to showcase some new fun stuff for like indie promotions and for like Wrestle Kingdom and all that good stuff but yeah there's eight different venue sizes like I think that is the exact same as last year and yeah I think Overall, you can just check out the whole thing. So not much really has happened. It's really honestly the same. Yeah, you can ch change the crowd types, which Mexico tour and Japan tour. I'm not sure if this is actually new or not. But I'm pretty sure it's not necessarily new, but they did add in the Mexico and Japan tour, which is cool. So I believe, yeah, you can see all the shirts on there. I think that's pretty cool, though, that there's the crowd types. Overall, in Crate and Arena, there isn't a lot that they added in. It's probably the thing that let, went the most untouched, and they did a great job. Like I will go on and say WWE 2K19 is going to more than likely be the best 2K game that we have gotten to date. I will say that. It is looking that good. However, I'm not necessarily certain that everything was touched the way it needed to be some things were touched that weren't thought of that even anyone thought needed to be touched like zombie mode and all that good stuff some stuff desperately needed it like the upgrades to universe and the over over overhaul of my career which looks fantastic but then again we have create a superstar which really necessarily did not they, there's some new stuff in there like that we get every year but it looks a little different because they got a new um, menu, and that's really necessarily about it. And then we get to create an arena, and again, not nothing really changed. They added in like a few things, like nothing really massive, and it's kind of disappointing. However, though, I'm not sure if it'll be go over in this video, but there was a really cool feature I thought was added in. So CM Punk's like um. CM Punk's face that was on, I can't remember, it was the one where he had his ice cream pop and he was like, everyone's going to be sitting on my face tonight. I thought that was just really funny of that promo. Um, you can actually put superstar faces, oh, right, right here. You can add superstar faces to the crowd chairs. And um, I thought that was pretty cool. That's pretty, um, that's different. And it's something that adds in the um, immersion that you are really at a real WWE event. Let's say like we have Triple H is like you're doing a doing a 2001 pay per view, and Triple H is your main focus. Triple H's logo can be all over the chairs, and you see when the fans get up, you can see all the Triple H chairs. That just adds a huge thing. If I'm being honest. And yeah, here's the Undertaker's entrance coming on down. It's a little sneak peek at the. That big evil. I think we've already gone over the Undertaker's entrance though as well. But yeah. Overall, not much not much has changed in WWE 2K19 for Create an Arena. Which I mean that that does kind of suck a little bit. But I think hopefully that they either patch in Yeah, I, I hope they patch in the new arenas that they did add in for like my career like the mexican venue and the uh the like the japan dome because those two would be great for like korean arena creators that can make some cool stuff for everyone to enjoy in the community 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in this video of WA2K19 early coverage. We're going over Defrax video for Creighton Arena. And see you guys next time.